Throughout naval history, one class of warship has dominated the seas like no other, the legendary Nimitz-class aircraft carriers. These colossal vessels continue to serve as the backbone of American naval power, projecting force across the world's oceans and serving as floating air bases capable of launching devastating strikes wherever needed. Since their introduction in the 1960s, these maritime giants have set the global standard for naval aviation platforms. Today, we'll explore what makes these incredible ships so formidable and why they remain unmatched in their capabilities. The Nimitz-class carriers emerged from a strategic need to modernize America's carrier fleet. These revolutionary vessels were commissioned specifically to replace aging Kitty Hawk-class and Enterprise-class carriers, ensuring the U.S. Navy maintained its superior naval aviation capabilities as older platforms reached the end of their operational lives. The design philosophy behind these carriers was heavily influenced by lessons learned during the Vietnam conflict. Combat operations in Southeast Asia demonstrated that aircraft carriers needed enhanced offensive capabilities rather than just improved survivability, since these vessels primarily served as launch platforms for air sorties rather than direct combat targets. This operational experience shaped the Nimitz design to prioritize larger fuel storage capacity and expanded ordnance magazines. The Cold War context also played a crucial role in defining these ships' specifications. Designers incorporated nuclear propulsion systems instead of conventional oil-powered engines to provide unlimited operational endurance in blue water deployments. This nuclear capability allowed the carriers to maintain station indefinitely without requiring fuel resupply, a critical advantage during extended Cold War patrols and potential conflicts. The engineering advances incorporated into the Nimitz class represent a quantum leap over previous carrier designs. Most notably, these ships utilize only two nuclear reactors, compared to the eight reactors required by the earlier Enterprise class. This dramatic reduction in reactor count freed up enormous internal space, allowing Nimitz carriers to store 90% more aviation fuel and 50% additional ordnance compared to equivalent Forrestal class vessels. Survivability enhancements constitute another major design break through. According to U.S. Navy assessments, these carriers can withstand three times the battle damage that destroyed Essex-class carriers during World War II Japanese air attacks. The hangars feature innovative compartmentalization with three separate fire bays, each sealed by massive steel blast doors designed to contain and prevent the spread of catastrophic fires or explosions. This fire suppression system directly resulted from hard-learned lessons during World War II particularly the devastating kamikaze attacks that plagued Pacific Fleet operations. The compartmentalized hangar design ensures that even if one section suffers severe damage, the remaining bays can continue aircraft operations, maintaining the carrier's combat effectiveness even under enemy fire. All 10 nuclear-powered Nimitz-class carriers were constructed by Huntington Ingalls Industries at their Newport News shipbuilding facility now operating under Northrop Grumman Ship Systems in Virginia. This single-sort construction approach ensured consistency in design standards and manufacturing quality across the entire class. The lead ship USS Nimitz entered service in 1975, establishing the template for all subsequent vessels. The final ship of the class, USS George H.W. Bush, completed construction and commissioning in January 2009, marking the end of a 34-year production run. This extended construction timeline demonstrates both the complexity of these vessels and the Navy's sustained commitment to this proven design. Initially classified exclusively as attack carriers, the ships evolved to incorporate anti-submarine warfare capabilities, starting with USS Carl Vinson's launch in 1982. This expanded mission profile transformed these vessels into true multi-role platforms capable of conducting diverse naval operations including sea and air blockades, strategic mine laying operations, and precision missile strikes against land, sea, and airborne targets. Modern Nimitz-class carriers display impressive physical characteristics that reflect their immense operational capabilities. When fully loaded, these vessels displace approximately 102,000 tons, making them among the largest warships ever constructed. 
The ships measure 1,040 feet in length with a beam of 133 feet, providing enormous deck space for aircraft operations. Performance specifications are equally impressive, with maximum speeds exceeding 30 knots, 34.5 meters per second, powered by their nuclear propulsion systems. Each carrier accommodates 3,000, 184 ships personnel plus 2,800 air crew members, creating floating cities with populations larger than many small towns. The flight deck spans 1,092 feet by 253 feet, 333 by 77 meters, equipped with four aircraft elevators, four steam-powered catapults, and four arresting cables. This configuration enables rapid aircraft launch and recovery operations with the capability to launch one aircraft every 20 seconds during high tempo operations. The uh, standard carrier air wing CVW configuration aboard Nimitz class carriers consists of up to 82 aircraft in various specialized roles. Typical air wing composition includes 12 F 818 EF Super Hornets, 36 F 818 Hornets, 4 E2C Hawkeye Airborne Early Warning Aircraft and 4 EA6B Prowler Electronic Warfare Platforms supplemented by helicopter squadrons including 4 SH-60F and 2 HH-60H Seahawk. Aircraft configurations remain flexible based on mission requirements. For example, during 1994 operations near Haiti, USS Dwight D. Eisenhower embarked 50 Army helicopters instead of its standard fixed-wing aircraft, demonstrating the platform's adaptability to unique operational scenarios. Historical aircraft transitions reflect evolving naval aviation technology. The last operational F-14 Tomcat deployment occurred in March 2006, with complete decommissioning by September 2006. Similarly, S-3B Viking anti-submarine aircraft have been phased out and replaced by multi-role F-A-18 EF Super Hornets, consolidating the air wing around fewer but more versatile aircraft types. The heart of every Nimitz-class carrier lies in its nuclear propulsion system. Featuring two A4W reactors housed in separate compartments for redundancy and safety. These reactors generate heat through nuclear fission, converting water to steam that drives four general electric turbines shared between both reactor plants. The turbine systems transfer power to four massive bronze propeller screws, each measuring 25 feet in diameter and weighing 66,000 pounds. This propulsion arrangement generates maximum power output of 260,000 brake horsepower, enabling the carriers to achieve their impressive speed and maneuverability characteristics. Newer construction ships, built since USS Ronald Reagan in 2003, incorporate bulbous bow designs that improve speed and fuel efficiency by reducing wave-making resistance. The nuclear power systems provide virtually unlimited operational endurance, allowing continuous operations for over 20 years without refueling, with predicted service lives exceeding 50 years per vessel. Beyond their offensive air wing capabilities, Nimitz-class carriers mount sophisticated defensive systems protecting against missile and aircraft threats. Standard defensive armament includes three or four NATO RIM-7C Sparrow missile launchers, complemented by three or four 20mm Phalanx close-in weapon system defensive cannons. The USS Ronald Reagan represents the latest defensive configuration equipped with RIM-116 rolling airframe missile systems instead of traditional Sea Sparrow launchers. This upgrade has also been retrofitted to USS Nimitz and USS George Washington, with remaining ships scheduled for similar upgrades during future port visits. For close-range defense, four Raytheon Juvenal Dynamics 20M Phalanx six-barrel MiG-15 systems provide last-ditch protection with impressive firing rates of 3,000 rounds per minute and effective ranges of 4,900 feet, 1,500 meters. Since USS Theodore Roosevelt in 1986, all carriers incorporate 2.5-inch Kevlar armor protection over vital spaces. With earlier ships receiving retrofit installation, electronic warfare capabilities include four SRBOC Super Rapid Blooming Offboard Chaff, 
and six barrel MK-36 decoy launchers deploying infrared flares and radar reflecting chaff. The Raytheon SLQ-32V electronic warfare system detects hostile radar emissions through dual antenna arrays, analyzing pulse repetition rates, scan modes, scan periods and frequencies to identify threats and provide warning signals to countermeasure systems. Combat Operations Center around sophisticated command and control systems based on the Tactical Advanced Combat Direction System, Block Zero or One configurations. Communication capabilities include links 4A, 11, 14, and 16 for coordinated fleet operations and information sharing with other Naval and Air Force units. Weapons Control utilizes three MK-91 Mod 1 Multifunction Control System, MFCS Directors, managing Sea Sparrow missile engagements. USS Ronald Reagan and USS John C. Stennis variants feature the Ship Self-Defense System, SSDS, Mark II Mod 0, manufactured by Raytheon, which provides automated defensive coordination by integrating weapons systems with electronic warfare capabilities for enhanced anti-ship cruise missile defense. Intelligence gathering capabilities include the Lockheed Martin Tactical Imagery Processing System, TIPS, aboard USS Nimitz, enabling real-time imagery reception from airborne sensors and reconnaissance platforms. This system provides commanders with immediate battlefield intelligence for tactical decision-making and mission planning. The Nimitz-class nuclear-powered fleet carriers formed the absolute cornerstone of U.S. naval power throughout the final decades of the Cold War. By 1990, when the Soviet Union collapsed and ended the global standoff, the U.S. Navy operated five Nimitz-class carriers, USS Nimitz, Dwight D. Eisenhower, Carl Vinson, Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln, with one assigned to each major fleet command. Five additional carriers would join the fleet before design evolution brought forth the next generation Gerald R. Ford class. The construction of 10 aircraft carriers spanning 41 years demonstrates the extraordinary confidence the U.S. Navy placed in this proven design concept and its enduring operational effectiveness. While newer Ford class carriers now represent the cutting edge of naval aviation technology, the Nimitz-class vessels continue serving as the backbone of American naval power projection. Their legacy of reliable service, combat effectiveness, and technological innovation ensures their place in naval history as among the most successful warship designs ever conceived. The Nimitz-class aircraft carriers stand as monuments to American naval engineering excellence and strategic vision. These remarkable vessels have served faithfully for nearly five decades, adapting to changing threats while maintaining their position as the world's premier naval aviation platforms. What are your thoughts on the incredible Nimitz-class carriers and their lasting impact on naval warfare? Share your opinions in the comments below. If you enjoyed this deep dive into military technology, make sure to like the video and subscribe to Navy Nerds for more expert analysis on defense systems and cutting-edge military hardware delivered straight to your notifications.